Back in 2010, this was the clearest image of Pluto ever captured. At the time, Pluto was no more than a smear of light, a lost planet, demoted and mysterious. But just five years later, that all changed. In 2015, the New Horizons spacecraft completed a silent flyby of Pluto, a one-shot mission, speeding through the void, its instruments locked on target. It spent only a few precious hours in the Plutonian system, but in that fleeting moment, it gave us something extraordinary. It revealed that although Pluto may no longer be classified as a major planet, there is no doubt that it is one of the most fascinating worlds in the solar system. Features such as towering mountains, vast plains and ice volcanoes became clear, and then a shape we all recognised, a frozen heart etched onto an alien world. But what is this heart? Where did it come from? And what would it be like to stand there? Well, to find out, we need to leave reality as we know it and step into something a little more imaginative. You're watching V101 Space. My name's Rob. If you love space and want to be a part of this incredible journey, hit the subscribe button. It really helps more than you know. Before you begin this mission, a warning. When you land, you will enter one of the most hostile environments in the solar system. Pluto's surface temperature can plummet to minus 240 degrees Celsius. There is no breathable air, only a trace atmosphere of nitrogen, methane and carbon monoxide, with a pressure 100,000 times weaker than Earth's. This is a place where life as we know it could never take root. But thanks to your state-of-the-art V101 developed advanced spacesuit, you can now explore this incredibly hostile yet stunning environment. What once looked like a heart now stretches before you as a vast, frozen plain nearly 1,600 kilometers across. You are alone, billions of kilometers from Earth. Here, our life-giving sun is just a very bright star. Right now, your boots touch down on the upper left lobe of Pluto's heart, a place known as Sputnik Planitia. It's one of the youngest surfaces in the solar system, a flat, craterless basin surrounded by jagged mountains made of pinkish, rock-hard water ice. But beneath your feet, the ground isn't water, it's frozen nitrogen, and it's moving, it's glacier-like. Scientists believe Sputnik Planitia was formed by a violent impact long ago. A massive object carved out a basin, which later filled with volatile ices. And as you have already noticed, the gravity here is weak. You can barely walk. Instead, you bound, softly hopping across a landscape sculpted by time and cold. And yes, that is snow. You can't feel it, but around you is a faint, whispering atmosphere, although it is not constant. It thickens when Pluto nears the sun and collapses when it drifts away during its orbital path of 248 Earth years. These strange snowflakes are likely caused by nitrogen ice sublimating in sunlight, rising as vapour by day and refreezing at night. Like a pulse, a rhythm, as if the heart of Pluto is faintly beating. Looking up from Sputnik Planitia, the stars above are brilliantly sharp, unhindered by atmosphere. And if you could see beyond Pluto itself, on the far side, hidden from this vantage point, orbits its largest moon, 
Sharon, a world locked in eternal partnership with Pluto. But if you stared into Pluto's sky long enough, you might just catch fleeting pinpricks of light glinting against a black background. These are Pluto's tiny moons, such as Styx or Hydra. Too distant to dazzle, but present all the same, like ghostly companions. Scattered across the plain, colossal blocks of water ice also lie marooned, some the size of buildings, others like drifting islands. They float on this frozen sea of nitrogen, slowly shifting, nudged by something unseen. From above, deep troughs and polygonal patterns stretch across the ice, clues that convection is at work beneath you. Like boiling soup, warmer material rises and cooler material sinks. This implies something incredible that Pluto's interior might be warmer than we thought. That beneath this icy crust you are walking on, a slushy, subsurface ocean could be churning. Even here, in this frozen exile of the solar system, motion, energy is possible. The safety of Earth is 10 years away by spacecraft. A journey made only once by New Horizons, and now, you. What's that noise? No, your suit. The battery. It's failing. You need to get back to the descent pod now. The cold. It's creeping in fast. The strange beauty of this world is beginning to turn against you. You need to move. Your suit. It can't handle much more. Move! You can make this. You're almost there. If you've made it this far, thank you. But did you know that over 86% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed? And if you're still here, then you're exactly the kind of person I make these videos for. And if you've enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, I would love for you to be a part of that moment. So please do hit the subscribe button, it really helps more than you know. And if you want to go one step further and help support the channel directly, you can become a V101 member or patron. The links are in the description. It keeps this project going and gives you some nice perks too, including your name at the end of each video and things like behind the scenes access and exclusive content. Either way, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.